The Droid Max 4G LTE is an Android smartphone made by Motorola for the Verizon LTE network. Built around KitKat Android 4.4 and sitting on top of 32GB of memory, the Max is powered by a Motorola X8 system on a chip that includes a 1.7GHz dual-core application processor and a quad-core 400MHz GPU that drives a 5-inch 1280x720 Super AMOLED multi-touch screen protected by Gorilla Glass. With its slim bezel styling and matte finish DuPont Kevlar fiber unibody, the Max measures 5.41 inches by 2.8 inches by 0.34 inches and 5.86 ounces. Much of that weight comes from a 3500 mAh non-replaceable battery which can provide up to 48 hours of typical use and more than 3 weeks of standby. For you Qi junkies, the Max also supports wireless charging. The Max has the standard complement of three on-screen control buttons, plus beveled power and volume switches on the right side of the phone. In a neat design feature, the rocker switch can be removed to reveal a nano slim card slot for the unlocked phone. A 10 megapixel camera and LED light find their usual placement on the back, while a 2 megapixel camera can be found on the face. The Droid Max has all the cool kid wireless accoutrement, including Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, GPS, AGPS, GLONASS, and 802.11 ABGN, along with LTE, CDMA, EVDO, EDGE, GSM, HSPA, HSDPA, and HSUPA across the 700, 800, 850, 900, 1800, 1900, and 2100 bands. Wow. Getting past the specs, the Motorola Droid Max is surprisingly satisfying to use. The slightly thicker and heavier dimensions of the phone combined with the Kevlar unibody make it comfortable to cradle and unlikely to slip out of your hands. At first I was worried that 720p might be too low for a 5-inch screen, but the Max is beautiful, with saturated colors and sharp images. The fact that the processor doesn't need to push pixels for a 1080p screen probably accounts for the addictively smooth no-lag UI. The camera is just above average. Good enough for basic pictures and videos, but definitely not in iPhone 5 territory. The stereo speakers are fantastically powerful and possibly the best I've heard on a smartphone. Combined with a fairly decent call quality, the Max is no slouch in the audio department. However, the real talent of the Max is its battery. That 3500 mAh power pack truly makes the phone live up to its name. Ingress aficionados know how the game, which uses the screen, processor, GPU, GPS, Wi-Fi, and cell radios all at the same time, can drain even an all-day phone like the Galaxy Note 3 in 4 hours or less. With the Max, I ingressed for more than 12 hours with enough power to spare at the end of the day for some Netflix. The Motorola Droid Max 4G LTE is available now. You can buy it for $150 with a two-year contract or $450 month to month. Let's start with the cons. And for me, the biggest con has to be the pricing. I'm always looking at off-contract pricing. And $450 without a contract, even though it's unlocked, still seems to be a bit high. I'd like it to compete with something like the Nexus 5. I'd like them to be really aggressive with the pricing. Maybe knock $50 off just to, to make people know that this is a value in all senses of the word. The other thing has to be the relative spec. Now, I know spec means very little in actual experience of the phone, but for us geeks out there, it, it's something to have to tell people, well, it's a 720p screen, and yeah, the processor's not as fast as on some other phones. Th there really is no excuse for that if you're going to be looking for that in a phone. The third thing has to be the camera. I, I'm really disappointed in the camera. It's not a bad camera, but it's not even as good as some of the cameras I have on my Samsung phones. And that's still a step below what you get on, say, your iPhone 5 or 5S. But on the pro side, I have to say number one is the battery. This is a killer, a stellar battery. I almost got four days of battery life off of one charge. And you got to remember, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm using it as a hotspot. I'm playing Ingress. Four days off of a phone like this, which is still crazy capable, is, well, unheard of. The other pro is that it makes do with the specs that it has. Yes, the processor isn't as fast as some other processors on the market, but because it's not pushing as many pixels, it feels snappy. Also, I really like the styling. It actually fits well into my hand. It's not too big. It's not too small. It feels just right. Combined with the battery life, it, it gives me that phone that I feel is going to be a workhorse again and again and again. The last thing is, well, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really like this Kevlar backing. It's so much better than those smudgy plastics. It feels strong. I've actually dropped it a couple of times, and it 
it doesn't seem worse for the wear, and it just looks good. For a phone that looks good, that feels good, and has a crazy long battery life, the Motorola Droid Max just might be the thing you need to buy. I'm Father Robert Ballas here with Before You Buy, and this has been the Motorola Droid Max.